our channel. Yay. It's vegan magic time. All right, so this is just my five-year vegiversary. Aw, congrats. Thank you. And I remember five years ago, it was right before uh, Valentine's Day, and I was like, oh, no, I can't eat any of these chocolates. And I love chocolate, so... I have this recipe that is so delicious, so versatile, so simple. You're going to love it. You're going to want to make it all the time. And boy, did we back five years ago when we first discovered this. It's a fantastic recipe. So let's get started. It's only got a few simple ingredients that are pretty easy to get a hold of. So it's not like you're going to be like, where do I find this? Did you say what we're making? <laughs> Well, obviously, by the thumbnail, everybody realizes that it is chocolate-covered strawberries. But this chocolate can also be used to make, like, Reese's peanut butter cups, vegan ones, of course. Or just uh, mix it with some chopped nuts if you eat chopped nuts. And you can make, like, a little nut cluster as well. So, very versatile. Today, we're going to be making it vegan, gluten-free, nut-free. And it's going to be... 100% delicious. So I've started out in my bowl over here and let me caution you, water is the enemy of chocolate. So make sure that everything is super duper dry. No water, no moisture, no nothing. I've already washed my strawberries and they're sitting out here drying because I don't want any water on them. When water comes in to contact with chocolate, it makes it look gray, and that is very unappetizing. So you wanna make sure everything is super duper dry. So in my dry bowl, <laughs> I have half a cup of uh, butter flavored coconut oil. Mm -hmm. I really prefer using the butter flavored one in like everything because it just, especially when I make my mac and cheese sauce, it gives such a wonderful flavor, and in baking, too, it's just a nice flavor. So, in the past, I would just mix these together, but I found that sometimes it can be a little bit gritty, so today's the first time I'm actually using a mixer. I was going to do it in my Vitamix, and then I was like, I don't want to wash that out. So, <laughs> immersion blender time! So, we got the coconut oil. We're also going to be using a quarter cup of sunflower butter that I made the other day. And don't be too worried about getting this measurement exact. It's very forgiving. So that is about a quarter of a cup. You just you just need this for the um, that fat feeling, other than the coconut oil. I mean, how much more fat can you get than that? But yeah, I'm gonna put that in there. We're putting all of the wet ingredients in here. We've also got some vanilla, putting that in there. That's like a teaspoon. Don't worry about if you missed any uh, measurement or an ingredient. It's going to be in the info box below. And we have, for the final, final answer, one quarter cup of maple syrup. And don't use the ones from, uh, you know, that are like, uh, what, what would you call them? Sugar water? Um. You know, with that say maple flavored. Get real pure maple syrup. And we're gonna put one of the dry ingredients in here. We're gonna put uh, the carob powder. I got this from the natural and organic aisle at my supermarket. Uh, don't worry if you can't get carob powder. You could use just uh, pure cacao or cacao. I've heard it said both ways but we're using a quarter cup of the carob. And the reason why we don't use all cacao is because sometimes that can be a little bit bitter and this will take some of that bitterness out if you uh, cut it down with the carob powder. So let's plug in. I wish I had one of those islands that had the uh, mm. that outlet on it. Boy, would that make life a lot easier. Let's hope and pray that this doesn't go everywhere. Please don't. <laughs> Whoa. No, not too bad. And make sure you just get this super smooth. See, it's it ain't no thing. It's pretty easy. Give it a good mix. You, you can't over mix it. Should we kick this up to the higher speed? Oh, yeah, I think so. All right, hashtag beautiful. All right, let's take this out. Because now our only other ingredient 
is going to be the cacao. And we're going to need a cup of it. So let's scrape this off. We're not going to use the mixer anymore. We just wanted to blend the carob. Mm, okay. <laughs> wow. That is super delicious because I used um, the salted sunflower seeds when I made my uh, sunflower butter. Delicious. So it really adds a whole nother dimension. So we're going to use a cup of this. Don't pack it in there. Keep it nice and fluffy. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, a cup of dry <laughs> into there. It's not going to be liquidy at all, but it will be. It's like powdered sugar rules when you make the uh, powdered sugar frosting. It really, you only need a couple drops of liquid and it's going to be pretty liquid. I caution you though, make sure you don't do this in like a really cold room because it will start to get thick already. The easy thing about this is when you dip the strawberries, you don't have to worry about like keeping the chocolate tempered and everything because it uh, only gets hard when it gets refrigerated. So I used to be intimidated all the time and it used to be a big job to make to dip strawberries because you had to get the chocolate to exactly the right temperature. Doing it this way is so much healthier because the, the cacao powder is less processed and it's full of more antioxidants and everything. And it's just so much simpler to dip it, pop it in the fridge, and you get the same result, pretty much. Look at this. Right? It's like chocolate frosting. Make sure you get all the lumps out. You don't want to get a lump of unsweetened cacao powder because it's going to be bitter. Make sure you get it nice and mixed well, and it's glossy and beautiful. Okay, looks like we're ready to dip. Last minute little <laughs> drying off. Some of these are crazy. Look at the, the size of these crazy ones. This one has a little, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's do this one first because it's fun and it's weird and I love it. So the way you dip, you could put a stick in there and it would probably be easier, but I'm just going to slop it up today. Make sure all it's completely clean. There's no little... Um, leaves on it or anything because nobody wants to bite into that so you just dip it in get some on there tap it off and put it on your parchment or sill pat wow. do the rinse and repeat <laughs> do the rest of these pop it in the fridge for 15 minutes to half an hour the longer the better and you got Valentine's Day vegan Mostly allergen-free deliciousness. Wow. Wait, I just have to take all this in. This is <laughs> something to behold. Right? And look at this. This is the bonus Jonas over here. Whatever was left over that uh, we didn't dip, I mixed some uh, sunflower seeds with, and I just put it in little uh, candy cups. You could also do Rice Krispies if you wanted and have, like, you know, Rice Krispie. Or like you said earlier, treat. nuts. Yeah. Whatever you want. You don't have to do anything at all. You could also um, freeze a little bit of peanut butter, push it into the center, and let it uh, harden around. That's how you make the Reese's peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. So we're going to plate some of these up so Maddie can try them. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at that. How sexy is this to have this for uh, Valentine's Day? Yeah. Beautiful. So these also aren't as hard to bite into as a regular chocolate covered strawberry usually you bite into one of those and, and all the chocolate, chocolate falls, falls off. off these are much softer and you must keep them uh refrigerated otherwise they're they're going to melt so these when you're not eating these immediately they need to be in the refrigerator mm -hmm. so we're just going to put a few out on this plate wow. so you can see how beautiful all right, there you have it. Oh, I'm ready to so taste. exciting. They look beautiful. Yeah, they do. And you're gonna look beautiful eating them. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> this was already a slam dunk, but the addition of the sunflower seed butter 
Right, because it's a salted sunflower seed butter. Oh my god. It's like salted caramel chocolate, right? Salty sweet. It's yeah. so good. So good. Oh yeah. Vegan romance, baby. The chocolate stays on there. Yes. You're not a fool with all the chocolate going all over the place, and then you find it later on, and you're like, who made a dookie in the corner over no! here? No! Like, flavor of love. <laughs> all right, so anyway, <laughs> let us know if you enjoyed this recipe. Let us know if you tried it out. And if you did, send us pictures. Tag us on Instagram. We love to see what you guys make. And we hope everybody has a wonderful Valentine's Day. Subscribe for love. <laughs> Vegan love. And um, thank you so much for watching. So we'll see you all next time. And until then, much love.